It's Carrie Newman. Victoria. But anyway. I carve uh, traditional and contemporary native artwork. Uh, my, I learned this from my father, so it's a family tradition, and I think I'm the fifth generation of carver in my family. Wow. So, um, can you tell us how many years you've been doing this, or since how old you are? I started carving when I was about three or four years old, so I've been at it for just over 30 years now. Oh my god. Um, so, can you tell us what the experience has been like? I know that um, you were here just at BC Showcase not too long ago, uh, carving for the media and um, some some people watching as well. Uh, so could you tell us what the journey has been like in being a professional carver in this area? Hi, it's been pretty, a pretty good ride for the last couple of years. Um, I did a spirit pole, which was a totem that traveled around the province over 11,000 kilometers in 50 communities. I did a, an installation piece for the Olympic Games, and now during the games time, I'm doing different demo, uh, carving demonstrations and that sort of thing. Uh, and so it's it's pretty neat. It's 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 a pretty exciting time. Yeah. And what did you think of the uh, the Aboriginal well not Aboriginal but uh, traditional dancers um, yesterday at the opening ceremony? You got to watch the third day. I was watching the opening ceremonies during the Aboriginal welcome. And I thought for me, the, 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 the opening part where the four host First Nations were welcoming the world was the most touching part of the Aboriginal content in the ceremonies. Gotcha. So, we'd like to take a look at your argument here. 